Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. So today in this video, what I'm going to be doing is we will be looking at some of the loot for the bosses. One of the bosses in the unnamed city. Now, of course, this is a video to prepare the full run video that I will be doing at some point in the future. And so I thought it would be a good thing to have a look at all of the bosses that are worth farming in the unnamed city and what you can expect to get from them so if you folks enjoy this video please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Seltopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So, with that out of the way, the first boss that we will be looking at is the boss that is the skeleton boss with the one-handed sword. Now, for the purposes of these videos, and this video as well, of course, included, I have summoned in or spawned in a hundred of these bosses killed them and looted absolutely everything so i'll be showing you everything that you can expect to get obviously we will be focusing on the more important items and gear that you could of course get from this guy so first things first let me remove my cloak let's get rid of this guy oh hey get back here all right let's kill him off we don't want him i just uh decided to have him wandering about just so people can see which boss this is i will obviously show them at the end of the video as well so these are the less important things that you can get i will uh hover my mouse over them just so you guys can see what there is uh i mean obviously i would probably loot everything and as you can see out of 100 kills for this boss and looting them 100 times you don't get very much of the stuff as such but it's always nice to uh pick them up and loot them and uh who knows, you might just need them at some point. So let's get rid of these things. I don't really care for this. This is not why you guys are here. Uh, obviously, I will mention that this boss does, of course, drop the Sword of Krom along with some other very interesting things. Now, do bear in mind, everything is random that does drop on this boss. So it is uh, a random occurrence and certain items have a smaller chance of dropping so first things first these are some of the placeables that you can get from him that you can use in your base now i wanted to show these off because you will see in my bases a lot of these things and most of them or actually all of them have never been crafted these are things that i looted uh, so with that being said and done these are the more interesting things that i got you can see out of 100 we got a hundred legendary repair kits so that is a good thing we've got these pickaxes again another thing i never craft because i always loot them uh going back to the legendary repair kits uh so that means there is one legendary repair kit per kill now i don't know what this is used for and uh, obviously the same goes for this and another interesting thing that actually dropped is dung i'm like what how where anyway these are the things that we dropped and in terms of resources as you can see we've got a ton of glass and steel and crystal from him this is as i said out of a hundred times killing him we've got some resin there as well but definitely worth farming them just for that now in the weapon section this is where things get interesting obviously you get the uh ghost weapons over here and as you can see they don't have any durability now that is an amazing thing altogether it does also apply corruption all of them obviously depending on what weapon you get if you get the axe you can apply bleed you got the sword it gets crippled so definitely worth having they don't do a lot of damage but they do apply corruption which means in a pvp situation these things can be quite handy if you equip them on your thralls out of 100 kills i got four swords of chrome from this particular boss a very super powerful sword for me at least especially if you equip thralls with it and these are some other legendary weapons that i got there's a lying bastard that doesn't really do all that much it's just a legendary sword and then we got the drunkard or whatever it's called uh, over here the drunkard's blade uh again just a generic legendary weapon nothing special about it so finally in terms of armors we've got this over here which is the scorpion stuff We've got the commander stuff, all of it is epic and legendary, and some of them have certain attributes as you will see uh, in the video. 
I just wanted to show off what you got. So obviously this is again out of 100 kills. Not a lot of armor drops. But as you can see there is some interesting stuff to get. We've got these over here as well. Again they are legendary and epic. And apart from the exquisite silk stuff we also get the war mammoth items over here we got the feet so that's kind of pretty much it for what I got out of uh, let's pretend that I farmed them for a hundred times obviously it's a bit overkill but I just thought a hundred is a nice round number and it should give us a fairly decent idea of what to get so this is where the boss spawns in the game India named city not far from the archivist and of course there's also a obelisk next to him so I'm gonna go and show you what he looks like and obviously I am cloaked so that I don't end up aggroing all of the stuff around here we'll get a nice uh, view of him and what he does uh, sometimes we do tend to get a bit of a sound glitch when we use the teleport or uh, the admin teleport at least so this is what the boss looks like he, yeah we've got the sound glitch we got the attentions of uh, his uh, skeleton friends over there but let's try and remove the cloak so just to show you that this guy is the one-handed uh, boss all right that's enough and basically when you come here you will see him praying to the fire pit and that's pretty much it he is easy to beat and defeat I have made a separate video on this guy I will also as I said include it in a full run of this area obviously the first thing that I want to do is I want to cover all of the bosses that I think are worth farming because they drop interesting and good loot that is it for this video folks I do hope that you have enjoyed it and if you have please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and of course for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord links to this you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself until next time Stay safe, folks.